everyone, welcome to today's tutorial where I'm going to show you how Unisat works. Now Unisat is the marketplace for all things B or C20 tokens. So Bitcoin ordinals, it's the inscriptions on top of Bitcoin. Now, if you watch my recent video where I show you the difference between BRC20 and CBRC20, you kind of understand that we can expect CBRC20 here as well. Again, not guaranteed, but I'm expecting them to list them because they are the new standard. Okay, so let's kick it off here. We are on unisa.io. This is a beta version, by the way. It even tells you here, just so you know. And the first thing you need, if you don't already have a wallet, is you need to download one. Now you've got two different options to download it, either from the Chrome store, if you are using Chrome or from GitHub, and you can download the zip file and then install it that way. Uh, you know, if you don't use Chrome or if you don't use Chrome at all, if you don't like it. This wallet though is the go-to for all things BRC20. There are other marketplaces out there, but this is a wallet and a marketplace, which is pretty cool because you can get the best of both worlds in one, right? And so you can store and transfer your ordinals NFTs here. You can see on confirmed NFTs immediately. You can see that it is 100% open source, which means you can even contribute to it. If you are a developer, you can inscribe on the fly without running a full node. Then you can store, mint, and transfer B or C20 tokens. So let's kick it off here and show you how it actually looks. Now, once you download it from Chrome, this is how it actually looks. Okay, this is the extension. You could see that you can send BTC to it. Now you need to make sure you are on the Taproot version. Taproot is the latest version. You could see the address is different because it does start with BC1. So it's not a native SegWit address. Okay, so you can send BTC here because you will need it for transaction fees and you can also send it out and buy BTC as well. Now, before we look at the actual Unisat website, uh, on the wallet, you do have different options here. So you've got your actual account. Uh, then you've got this feature here, which shows you all the different images that have been inscribed uh, on the Bitcoin blockchain. You can see all these different uh, NFTs here. There's even a video of uh, Elon Musk here that has been inscribed. You can click on it here and then you can see uh, it's been minted. So once inscribed here, it cannot be changed. It's not sitting on any server. This is all on the Bitcoin blockchain. This is what makes it different than your typical NFTs on Ethereum, which are basically a pointer to an image on a server somewhere. And if that server gets taken down, then you're left with the token, which is pretty much the NFT. It's just a simple token with no image whatsoever. Whereas here, the difference is that they are inscribed on the blockchain. So this is true decentralization. Uh, you are truly in control of your image here or your video. It is quite scary as well because it can lead to some really odd videos and uh, images, you know, to be shared around here, which is scary. Now, if you click on this option here, this pretty much shows you like the marketplaces that are available. Okay, Magic Eden, Open Ordex, as well as the Unisat one. Okay, and then there's the settings button here, which uh, tells you that you are using the top root address type, uh, what sites you're connected to. Uh, what network you're on that you are on the live network you can change your password as well or you can lock it if you are interested you can even access the open source code so it's pretty cool uh, but ultimately the way it works here if you had any brc20 tokens gotten from unisat or from somewhere else they would actually show up here and then you could actually send them from here but you do need to have that bitcoin in order to pay for transaction fees you can't pay in brc20 tokens because you are using the bitcoin blockchain okay so all transactions are paid in bitcoin now Unisat are also going to launch a BRC20 swap. Apparently it is live, but not everybody can access it now. Uh, you have to be either whitelisted or you need to hold at least 200 Unisat points to qualify for using BRC20 swap, which is pretty cool because you no longer have to buy a BRC20 token in the form of NF. Now, if we go to marketplace here, we can see the marketplace of all the different BRC20s that are out there. It even tells you what volume they've got. Okay, you could see the floor price, you could see how many have been listed, and you could see how many items are available, which is pretty cool. It gives us all the information, but it looks really, really basic. It's like we're going all the way back in the past when NFTs just kicked off, you know, like compare it to OpenSea or some other marketplace, those are much better, right? So you can definitely tell it's in its infancy, but it's got a lot of room to grow. And remember, it is decentralized. Nobody can take the image or the video away from you, which is pretty cool and scary at the same time. Now, if you look at one of these, for example, let's just give this hypothetical example, Bitcoin Frogs, which is the first one I see here. So it gives you information on it. Okay, it tells you the BTC volume, it tells you the floor price, how many are listed, how many are available. Uh, this is the collection here of everything that they've got available. Now, if you want to get one of these, again, I, I don't recommend it. Again, I, I didn't personally buy any, but just an example here, they're charging a ton of money for this, $19,000. They've got some nerve to charge so much for a Bitcoin frog. Okay, but that's the real price that they're asking for here. 
Uh, if you click on buy on one of these NFTs, again, it could be just any of them. Let's say, for example, you are a fan of NFTs on uh, BRC20 and you're interested. Uh, so if you go down here, it tells you how much you actually have to pay in total. Uh, your available balance too and then you just click confirm sign the transaction and you're done so it is pretty simple in that regard it's like using metamask except you're using this unisat's wallet okay now if we go to brc20 here uh, here we can actually search for a brc20 balance of any specific address if you paste the address here and down here you could see the full list of brc20 tokens including ordi meme punk pepe etc right all these different ones sats these are all the popular ones because as you can see they're ordered by the number of transactions okay there's also the in progress section here and the completed one okay now if we go to search here and you select brc20 you can actually search for a specific brc20 so let's say for example we want to search for the most popular one which is ordi we can see that there are 21 million in total and it's 100 minted here it tells us like uh, more information on it and then there's a trade button here. So if you click on the trade button here, we can see how you can actually buy from the Unisat marketplace when it comes to ordinals. And again, it's treated exactly like NFTs because you can't swap at the moment unless you meet those requirements as we've seen earlier on when the BRC20 swap is gonna be uh, launched. I'm expecting them to launch that for everyone to be fair, to make life easier. But as it stands right now, this is the only way to purchase them. And this has put many people off from buying some ordinals early on and they had to wait for exchange listings like the Qcoin one with Dovi, for example. Dovi was like 40 cents before on this ordinals market, but then after listing on Qcoin, it went to like $2 and something. So, you know, being able to get into these early does give you that sort of advantage. If a token is listed on a small exchange, which is complicated to use, but you know how to use it and you're not afraid to do so, then you have an edge over somebody who is afraid to use it. And so you can probably get it much, much cheaper before they list on a bigger exchange. So here you can see the different prices here. So this one is like 25 ordi are being sold here in one batch. Okay, it does cost you 1,270, including the transaction fee. Uh, over here, we're talking 30 ordi uh, for 1,524. Okay, so let's say you wanted to buy this one, for example, you just select it. It tells you what the service fee is. Okay, 0.8%. Service fee finally is zero. This is the transaction size. Uh, this is the network fee, okay, $22 in total. You're paying $1,292.22. So they're making everything super clear for you here. Just click confirm. And once you do that, uh, see, it tells me the fee rate is too low because I don't have any BTC to pay for this transaction. But if I did, yeah, it would just pop up the wallet, ask me to confirm, sign it, and I'm done. You can also inscribe here, by the way. So you can actually inscribe on the Bitcoin blockchain. You can create that BRC20 uh, to a single address or to multiple addresses. Uh, there is a guide here on how to inscribe so people are just basically reading this and that's why they're inscribing so many memes and so many brc20s uh, including videos etc etc so you could see here that uh, see jpegs are allowed gifs are allowed mp3s are allowed mp4s are allowed and that's why you saw that video of elon musk and all those funny images on there because people are inscribing these so yeah this is pretty much it uh, this is how it looks it is pretty simple it's not as complex as people think as long as you fund that wallet with bitcoin you get access to it and you can just transfer that brc20 in and out as you wish from wallet to wallet just make sure you select that top route when you are setting up that wallet okay very important because it's not going to work otherwise so yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. And uh, if you found this informative, again, it was a very simple version. I'm sorry I didn't actually do any transfers live here. It would probably be nice to do that. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how it looks. Again, this is a free video for the community. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye-bye.